We have shown you a recent string of water spouts at our beaches recently. Yeah, I remember that at Hollywood Beach. Yeah. Wow, quite a sight. They're always very spectacular to see, though sometimes they can be dangerous to beachgoers. But how exactly do they form? Next Weather Chief Meteorologist Ivan Cabrera tells us how. If you make South Florida your home, you have either seen a water spout or seen coverage of it on television. Today I'm here to talk about how they form. And it's interesting because we have two versions of water spouts. There are those that form during severe weather, severe thunderstorms that go from land to water. Those can be very dangerous with very strong winds. But I'm talking about fair weather water spouts, and those typically form right at the water surface. We have light winds that converge, come together, and then you see this ring a very discernible blue spot on the water. When you see that, that is a telltale sign that a water spout is about to form. And what's interesting with the tornadic water spouts, that funnel that we see comes down from the cloud. Whole different story with a water spout. It actually starts at the surface of the water and then climbs up to the cloud. If you've seen one forming, it's uh, fascinating. Now, because we are talking about light winds and fair weather, they typically don't move. The steering currents aren't there, but sometimes they do move on shore. And when that happens, National Weather Service issues a tornado warning, but it is a brief one. Why? Because they depend on the water to keep going and they dissipate very rapidly once they make it on shore. But it's always a good idea if you see one coming towards the beach to get out of the way. We get hundreds of these a year here in South Florida. Ivan, thanks. Certainly we'll follow that advice.